Hey guys, this is Tom here, and welcome back to another Let's Play. Well, m less of a Let's Play, more of a sort of uh, one-off review slash my thoughts on the game in progress. Anyway, the game today will be Chime. I mean, I'm only going to play a small amount of this game, or at least like a, like a round sort of thing of this game, um, just to give you guys a rough idea of what it's like. I mean, it's one of those games. I'm gonna go for nine minutes, by the way, and I'm gonna play the Moby song because I like it. I have played the rest of them; they're not unlocked because I've just basically started playing it again. Anyway, it's one of those games where you know you've been fucked off by playing Code of Honor, and you want to kill yourself because it's so bad, and you just need a game to take your mind off it. And this is one of those kind of games. It's nice. You got sort of reactive music reacts to the way that you play. Anyway, basically the aim of the game is to cover as much of the black area with sort of the orange stuff. I mean, the colours vary from level to level. Um, but the basic objective is, is to cover as much of the black as possible. Once you've covered 100% of it, of course you win the round. You then go into a second round. Um, but yeah, it's great. I mean, I didn't want to uh, do a full let's play this game because I wanted you guys to go out there and enjoy it yourselves. I mean, it's very cheap at the moment. You can get it on Steam for about three pound ninety nine on English. Don't know what it's going to be in euros. Don't have a clue what the current exchange rates are like. But um, wonderful game. The music and it's really nice. So I'm just going to play through it a little bit and show you guys what the kind of gameplay is like. So as you can see at the moment, it's basically just, it's kind of like Tetris, you flip shapes around and you uh, try and form these quadrilaterals, and when you form a quadrilateral big enough, you'll start getting sort of um, score multiplayer from it, which you then have to try and keep going to get more points, which can be, <laughs> as you've probably seen from me playing it so far, can be a bit difficult. Lovely game though, music in it's great, I've probably already mentioned that, but I don't really care. I like the music in this game a lot. Another kind of standard music I'd listen to, I mean it's not my particular style. Jesus, that was a really bad misclick. But it's nice, you know, it's a nice chilled out kind of laid back game where you don't have to think too much, you're just flipping shapes around trying to fill in the blanks. Well, yeah. But yeah, it's nice. I mean, the music in the background, as you can hear, reacts to the scores and things that you get. So the more of the black area you cover, the more the game sort of... The more the music kind of becomes a whole, if you will. I mean, it becomes more rich and more kind of... Uh, flavours? I don't know, is that what you'd call it? Flavours? More... More variety gets added to the beat in the background, isn't it? It's kind of like a an audio score system almost. You know, you can tell when you're doing well because, the, like now, you know, the beats filling out a bit more. You know, we're funking out, yeah. But yeah, really cool. I like it. So I'm gonna try and fuck on this area down here now. I've been reading up a little bit about this game for you guys as well. A few things I found a bit interesting. One being that this game is a. Uh, it's developed under Zoe Mode, which, you know, I've never heard of that developer before. But anyway, the publisher being a publisher called One Big... Wait, hang on, One Big Game, sorry, yeah, I had to read that on my uh, bit of note paper here. They are a, uh, almost like a charity game initiative, is I think is what they call themselves, and basically... Um, I'm not sure if 100% of the money goes to this with it being free Steam, but the uh, basically when you pay for the scam, some of the money was is donated to save the children, which is you know it's a, it's good. I mean you don't see that often in games. People just want to rip the shit out of the profits and wreck it all in, you know. That's what game companies usually like, but it's nice to see that somebody's actually thought a little bit about it and took a time out to make a game. Well, it doesn't really matter too much, it's not serious, it's just chilling out. So, uh, I thought you might find that interesting. 
I'm just blabbing on about crap. But at least I'm talking about the game. Anyway, it's kinda... <laughs> I'm not doing brilliantly here. <laughs> it's quite difficult to talk and play this game, because, uh... You really gotta be focusing on... where you're putting these shapes. And I'm just bashing these things out while I talk to you guys, and it is not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. But I'm gonna keep going. Ah, oh, poop, that wasn't a very good one. Let's have a look. Basically, once you've uh, completed... You get 100% coverage, and you complete the level. Well, you don't complete the level, you go into like the next stage of the level, which is basically just the same song again. But you get a little bit less time, which makes it difficult, because... I mean, I'm, you need all the time you can get. I can only really get to stage 2, I can never seem to complete stage 2, it's... It gets quite intense. <laughs> You'll see when the clock starts to run out, eventually, you know, you sort of rush into bash shapes together and you're like, Oh crap, don't run out of me time! And eventually, of course, it catches up with you. I'm not sure if you can get past stage 2, I mean, well, of course you can probably pass it if you're good enough. What I'm trying to say is, I'm not sure if it's, uh, if there is a stage 3, or whether it just, you know, 200% completion is the maximum you can get. Anyway, I'm gonna try and get to stage two, but I'm not doing so good because I'm trying to focus on talking to you guys and it is kicking my ass right now. Come on, we'll flop you in there and I haven't got a home for you. You're gonna have to... Uh... You see, here comes the problem. I have basically... Oh, well, I've still screwed myself. But before I had way more crap going on, and when you leave like odd squares knocking about and stuff like that, it fucks you over later on. At the time, you're just like, oh, gotta get a bigger score multiplayer, gotta get a big score multiplayer, and then, boom. Later on, you'll be like, where the fuck did that piece come from? I cannot now put that piece where I would like to, and it's fucking me over really badly in the long run. So yeah, you gotta be very strategic where you play these. I mean, I'm not being strategic. Am I ever strategic? No. Ah, oh, you see what I mean? And also, misclicks are a really bad thing in this. Really bad. Oh god, that was awful. Why have I put that there? Whatever. I'm gonna try and focus on it a little bit more. Ah, oh, come on, flip over. I haven't really got any big scummily players yet, which is not so good. Come on, where are you? I need to find some sh quadrilaterals in this. I was about to say shapes, but of course it's only quadrilaterals I'm looking for, not just shapes. Ah, damn it. See, I'm just throwing stuff together here, <laughs> hoping that stuff's gonna work out, but it's not working. I'm not doing so well. I've got, f as you can see in the top corner, I have, well, basically 4 minutes and 50 seconds roughly remaining to try and get 100% coverage. So you are on a timer in this game. You can play in a free mode, but I mean, who does that? There's, an, there's no challenge, you're just basically listening to the music and playing along. Well, I mean, if you want to do that, it's cool. I mean, the music in the game is, as I've mentioned before, very nice. What's that? Uh, oh. Yeah, you can hear, because I've like not done so well, the music's toned down a little bit and oh. It's not as sort of in the mood, I don't, I don't know. Let's see, plus sign can go there, you can go there, no, fuck you, silly game. I probably should have started off on the easier um, level, because I mean, it is a lot easier, it would probably be a hell of a lot easier to record and play sort of well at the same time. But, I like this song a little bit better. The first song is nice, but personally I prefer this one, so this is what I'm doing. Of course, the first uh, the first level was a bit less intense. Um, it was basically just a big square, all this there on the edge was... There was no little inlays and stuff, so it was a little bit easier to move around with. Ah, multiplayer lost. Dear me. Ah, all these misclicks, not doing me any favours right now. 
Lovely music. I'll try and shut up. <laughs> and let you guys listen to it a little bit. Because it is very nice. Ooh, yeah. So, oh, look at that. That's a beautiful one. But we've screwed me over with that, so screw him. Now, I'm going to be trying to pump out these videos semi regularly. Um, they're mainly going to be in between big Let's Plays because at the moment I'm waiting for my computer to come through, which I've just upgraded, and I'm not going to be able to play any sort of high end games on it. I'm taking a break from City Interactive as well at the moment because their games are just really getting on my nerves. I don't even know why I Let's Play them, to be honest. Not many people find them, I'm sure, oh. but. I'm sure there's some people out there who want to see what they're like. Very scary people who clearly have mental issues. No offense to you if you do enjoy the horrible city interactive games. But they are awful, I mean, come on. Ah, you see, look at all this here. I've totally messed myself up now. I'm gonna have to wait for the sliders to come across and delete some of it. That does happen every game, now and again, but it doesn't happen very often. Um, as you can hear, it did a bit of breaking there. Yeah, and a bit of an audio cue as to when that happened. The music's picking up a little bit, getting a bit funkier. Oh yeah. <laughs> anyway, what else have I got written down in my little... Uh, notes here, because I'm focusing so heavily on this game at the moment that I can't look up my notes. And also the music's getting really funky and I don't want to look up my notes. But whatever. Let's have a look. Mm -hmm. I basically mentioned everything I wanted to mention in my notes actually. And I'm just going to get on and play the game now. Ah, bloody misclicks. Like I said, I got it on Steam for about $3.99 and it goes to charity, which is lovely. And the soundtracks to it, my ad, are very nice. You've probably seen them if you look carefully enough at the beginning of the video when I was selecting my track. I didn't stop for very long to select it, but you probably saw a few of them in there. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, I am getting really boned by this game right now. Lovely track by Moby though. Not usually something I'm into Moby, but it's uh, very nice. Gotta sound weird. Oh. It's very nice. It's a lovely track, isn't it? <laughs> Am I on a vote? Anyway, like I said, I'm gonna try and pump these out semi regularly. With sort of these smaller games, where you know what, the games where I think you guys, because they're shortish games, or because they're more fun to play yourself, you know, these are the kind of games I'm going to be pumping out. I'm not going to be playing loads of it. Like in this one, I'm only going to be playing this one level really, as a sort of like, uh, you know, hey guys, this is out there. If you want to have a go at it, go ahead. You know. If you want to spend the money, and like I said with this game, it's to a good cause. I'm going to shut up about that now because I keep going on about it. Terribly sorry. Jeez, this is getting... No, you see, here we go. 100% con con coverage is not possible right here. For me, at least, not at this moment in time. And there we go, time up. Hmm, 81%. <laughs> I did get the next level. You only need 50% to get to the next level, but... You know, I'm not brilliant. I made it for 13 minutes and 31 seconds. Anyway guys, let's Chime. So, if you're interested in it, have a look on Steam. Find Chime and, uh... I mean, you can have a look at... It doesn't get a mate score, which is kind of annoying to me. Because a lot of games on Steam do, and... If it doesn't have a mate score, then you kind of look at it and you think, oh, it can't be that good, but... Just hoping that you guys got a nice idea of what this game's like from that, so... 
thanks a lot for watching, and I shall see you next time. See you later, guys.